welcome back to the second session that we've had. Um, Sarah and Logan, uh, we were talking about how you wanted to put your mother in a home. Sarah, you disagreed with Logan. You wanted to keep your mom home. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. And Logan, you wanted to make sure your mom went to the right behind in terms of why do you feel that your mom should be put in a home? Yeah, I feel like it'd be a cheaper scenario to set them on quarter dollars for the kids plus the four leg drinks plus a couple of pounds. Everything else that just out there, I'd rather pay her than take it all at home to make sure she's taken care of the bed and everything's taken care of so she can live peacefully. I understand. So the way I feel is I should be able to quit my job and stay home with her and take care of her. He's an engineer. We're fine, you know? He's just worried about money all the time. And we should be able to just stop and take care of his mom when she needs it. Logan, how do you feel about this? That ain't all about the money. I mean, you're the one wanting all the fancy cars and all the nice stuff in the house. I mean, shoot, if you weren't so expensive, I wouldn't have that money. See, we, we always fight like this. Because I always spend too much money and um, it's all expensive, but I want to take care of her. You know, I don't want her to go to some nursing home and her fall and get hurt and us have to pick her up at the hospital and hear about all of her bed bruises and stuff like that. Okay, I understand you feel worried that she won't be safe in a nursing home and you want her to be close to you. Mm -hmm. Logan, do you feel as though she won't be close to you at the nursing home or do you feel... But how many times are you going to go visit her? I'm going to be at work. It's important to your job. You can go live with her. Okay, Sarah. Do you feel as though he won't go and visit his mother as much if she's in a nursing home? Or do you feel as though being home, he would be able to see her a lot more? I just feel like she would be more comfortable at home with us, and it would be safer, and we know what kind of care she's getting, you know, all the time. We know what kind of meals she's eating and stuff like that. How do you feel about this, Logan? I feel like if she's three counties away, there's no way we're going to be able to see her. If she's at the nursing home, our choice, she'll be right down the road so we can go see her in the county. Do you care about her nutrition as much as Sarah does, or do you feel that she'll be better taken care of there instead of feeding herself at home? I feel like she'd be fed more at the nursing home than she would at home because she would have to have the energy and everything to cook for herself and do dishes. And nobody knows how she's cooking at the time. But I would be with her. I would be taking care of her. No, you wouldn't. You've got to go to work. No, I would quit. I would need to quit my job to be with her. Why do you need to quit your job? So I can take care of her. She needs round the clock care. That's what she'll get at a nursing home. And we don't need to put her in a nursing home. She needs to be at home with us. We can convert the basement to her little place. You ain't got room in the basement. You got we, so much junk down there. We top have of. room. Are you gonna sell basement. that stuff? I can sell the stuff. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's all I do. But we can convert the basement into a little mother-in-law suite, and she can have her little living room, a little bedroom, a little bathroom, and then when she needs to eat, she can come upstairs and eat in the kitchen. Okay, you're going to put her down in the basement so she can walk upstairs fall up here. Well, we can convert the, the game room into the basement. Okay, Logan, you said that you had visited some nursing homes, is that correct? I've uh, visited several within a five-mile radius. One is literally two blocks down the road, so you can go see her anytime you want. You can cook all the pastries you want and take it over there for you. Then there's another one that is on the outskirts of town a little bit, and it has a five star rating on its website. It has one popular rating about any living situations. You want to check out a room, all the bed, nice and comfortable. I even laid in one if you want to take a nap. And then the third is about a half a medium in between both of them. It has a good meal plan. The only thing is they don't do as many activities as the second one did. And I feel like she just lays in bed and does all that stuff that she might 
not enjoy it and no one would want to go to school. He acts like she's an old lady. She's not. She does water aerobics every Tuesday. You know? And when when her hip gets better, she'll be back at doing it, you know? And she has been very independent. Very independent. And I just think putting her in a nursing home I didn't even know he's with you for some reason. That's just completely shocking. You know? Because like we have not made near a decision like that to go look at places. But I just feel like she is too independent to be put in the nursing home. Okay. Um, how do you feel about him doing this behind your back? I feel betrayed. Because we have not talked about him going to the nursing home. Logan, how does this make you feel? It's my mom. I want to do something. I feel like it's my right as a son to do it. She's my mom too, you know? With her hip problem, is she doing rehab at the moment for it? Yes. Are there any nursing homes, the nursing homes that you visited, do they have any rehabilitation ports with them? That's what I looked at when I was shooting them, and that's what I really narrowed it down to the last three. When you put the one on the outside of town, she has pretty much everything she would need as the best rehabilitation center. They will come help her anytime she needs it, no matter if it's night or day. And they make sure that she gets everything that she needs to feel it good. How do you feel about this? I don't know. I just don't think it's the right decision. Why do you feel it's not the right decision? Because nursing homes are just nursing homes, you know? It's just not, I don't know. It's just not time for her to be in our school. You feel as though it's for older people? Yes. Okay. Um, do you feel she'll be safer in your home? I just know what kind of care she'll get in our home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're more scared that she won't get the same love and treatment that you can provide? Yes. We have a very busy schedule. I mean... You know, to say that we would make it over there every day, I'm just afraid that we wouldn't. And then before you know it, it's been two days, it's been a week, it's been three weeks, you know, before you know it, we're just calling her. That's what I'm afraid of. Do you have the same fear? I mean, it's on my way home from work. So all I gotta do is I can stop and pick her up something to eat, take her there, and go sit in the room with her, you know, uh, find her next to her bed, and eat supper with her. Talk to her, and when she's getting ready to go to bed, I can head home and do everything I need to do. How much time do you spend with her now? Uh, I try to be here at least twice a week. How much time do you spend with her now? I take her lunch every day. Okay. With the nursing home visit, how how many times a day do you in a week do you feel that you'd go and visit her? I uh, would try to keep it consistent. How about you? Um, I would try to be there every day. Yeah. Okay. Um, you said you wanted to quit your job in order to stay with her. Are you unhappy at your place of work? No, no. I just think it would, like, for her to be at our house by herself is just to be a little dangerous. Like, I feel like she would need somebody there to help, you know, get her into the shower and get her food prepared and stuff like that, you know, for right now. How do you feel about her wanting to quit her job in order to take care of your mother? I feel like it would be a bad idea, especially because she said that she wishes that someone would be there to take care of her and make them up and stuff. That's what they do with a nursing home. And you said everything that she needs is at the nursing home. But I don't want her in a nursing home. Just because you don't want it, don't mean it's not the best option that you have. How can that be the best option? So for her to be with her family is the best option. Her family lives five minutes down the road. I just don't think they're going to go see her. Okay, Sarah. How much research have you done on these nursing homes? I have done no research. No research whatsoever? No. Logan, how much research have you spent on these nursing homes? Oh, 
hours, I would say at least 12, but that's been throughout a uh, month's time, just when she heard it, and I was like, I don't think she can be on her own anymore, so I had to go back and research all these things, and that's when I narrowed it down to these three, and then every day I would choose one to go to after work, and I feel like one on the outskirts of town would be the best decision for us to go to. What problem do you see with putting your mother in a nursing home? No problem. No problem whatsoever. There's nothing that's been in the news lately. There's nothing that's happened within the past few years with any of the nursing homes. No, nothing at all. Sarah, have you heard of any problems with any nursing homes recently? Or The one, the best one that he's talked about, I have heard things about bed bugs being in there. And people being incompetent. When you say incompetent, what do you mean by that? Like not taking them to get their baths regularly, not making their meals on time, and not letting them bring in food that they want, and people getting stuff stolen and lost. She's very particular about her stuff, and I would hate for her stuff to go somewhere and get stolen. Logan, how do you feel about this now that you've heard about it? I feel like that's just people on the internet trying to get bad reviews just because they feel like their parents or someone didn't get the review that they thought they should get. And so I feel like people would put bad reviews on there saying that they got bad reviews, saying they don't get this, don't get that, everything's being stolen from them, just to make the company look bad. I literally walked around the nursing home looking at them, asked them any questions that I needed, to answer them, and anything that I felt like was wrong, I felt what did he say when you told him that he needed to get this taken care of? Sarah, how do you feel about this? I feel that no matter what I say, he's just made his mind up about a nursing home. And there's nothing I can say to keep her from going to a nursing home. What do you see the problems with keeping her in your home? I don't see any problems. The like kids love her. That's a problem in her. We can find another place for her inside. Is there anywhere in the home you feel that your mother would be safe? With all the kids' bedrooms and stuff we got upstairs, with all the older kids trying to take over the basement, I just feel like we don't have enough room or a place for her. Okay, is there anywhere nearby that she could stay, like a house that's for sale next door or across the street? That way she's more close. No, not really. That's why I was really looking to the nursing home that was literally two blocks down the road. I'm trying to get that distance aspect, but I feel like it's not as good as the one on the outskirts. Do you know anyone whose parents are in that nursing home? I do. Sarah, do you know anybody whose parents are in that nursing home? Have you heard anything about that nursing home? No, I haven't heard anything about that one. Sarah, your opinion of your mother not wanting you not wanting your mother and your mother-in-law in a nursing home, why do you feel this way? The main reason is because she does not want it. She has expressed to me multiple times that a nursing home is not where she wants to be. Logan, have you talked to your mother about this? Last time I saw her, I talked to her, and I think I finally got across to her. I uh, told her that everything was her head. She We'll be able to get all the rehabilitation and stuff that she needs at this nursing home. They will make sure that she is eating correctly. She doesn't have to be up around walking around the house doing all these chores to they have everyone there that will do it for her. All she gets to do is relax and heal. When was this conversation with your mother? It was Tuesday. When did you last talk to her about this? Today. At lunch? Mm hmm. And how did she say her reaction to Logan was? She said that she could tell that he really wanted that, and she felt like he didn't want her to live with us. Logan, do you not want your mother to live with you? Uh, we just don't have any room anymore. We have all the kids have a room, and everyone else, all the ones that are grown up, have taken down the downstairs. We're already re renovating the basement just to add three more bedrooms so that you know, the older ones can go down there and have their own space. And having food, we 
rearrange everything in everybody's room right now is the most taken. Throwing mom in there and then her getting up and so what if she falls over some of the stuff we're bringing in? It can be a lot worse than it's the kid this Sarah, how do you feel about the space problem? I don't think we have the space problem. We have plenty of room in our house. We can put her in the kitchen. No, I'll just put her in the spare guest bedroom. You got that. You want another kid. It's a trunk. No, we have a spare bedroom. Where? Next to the our youngest daughter's room. That's where our baby son's at right now. Well, we can build on to our house. Okay. It comes down to... You're quitting your job, remember? Yes, and we will be trying. Honey, we're building stuff. He stresses about this so much. And the point is, she doesn't want to go there. I don't want her to go there. He's the only one that wants her to go to a nursing home. She feels betrayed because he wants her. He wants some strange people who have went to college for six weeks to take care of his mother. How do you feel about your mother not wanting to be home? I feel that her and Sarah have talked so much that they got it implanted in her head that she's perfectly okay with both of them to be just doesn't to realize the truth. Do any of your older children help out with your mother? They're always busy with all their sports and all their other extracurricular activities, and when they come home, they're strictly helpful. Okay. How old is your oldest child? Sixteen. Sixteen. So we're looking, starting to look at the college. Mm -hmm. Is that right? And you care more for their education than helping out with your mother in law? Or do you feel. Okay. Is this why you bring her lunch every day? Yes, um, I just need to spend a little time with her and stuff like that. Okay, how are you able to spend lunch with your mother? Well, I'm a kindergarten teacher, so I get a, a, a big break and I just take, like I cook something right before and have it ready and I just take it over there. Okay, and you feel that you can just quit your job as a kindergarten teacher and help out? I love my job, but I feel like her needs right now are more important. How do you feel about this? Well, if she quits her job, she will want to have a bunch of connection with the kids, and I feel like the kids would consume her more of her time than not her time. How do you think she'll feel about quitting her job after a month? I feel like she'll regret it. She'll realize how much she misses it because she came to get her to our future because she loves kids and wants to come around that many kids. And if you Especially if you put it right in the middle of school, you're like, you're going to have to all those kids are going to wonder where their teachers are and wonder why she just won't come back in. How do you feel about that? I, I love my job, you know, and our twins are in my class, Alexis and Adam. But I feel like I can't, like, this is what our family needs right now is to spend time with her and to be there for her, you know, because she was there for him. She take she took good care of him and she raised him and so I think she needs our support and I'm just afraid that if we put her in a nursing home, she's not gonna get the support or the care that she deserves. Yeah. Um with your job, do you feel as though your students will feel bad for you quitting that it'll be their fault? Oh, they'll be hard for me. You know, I love all my kids like they're my own kids, you know, that's part of why I became a teacher. But there's a time when you have to put your family ahead of your job, and that's just what I think you need to do. When do you feel like it would be the best time to quit your job? Well, I don't know. We're, he makes it out to like we're on a time sensitive issue. So I'm guessing he wants to do it before Christmas, but I'd like to at least make it to Christmas. Would you be okay with her quitting her job uh, near Christmas break? Not really, until when all the kids come back, they want to play. Her back at all, I bet that she feels like this time I'm about to get paid all the time. But when they come back and see us in the house, they'll still be dumbfounded and wonder why and what happened. How do you feel your mother would feel if you're quitting your job? I feel like 
She would feel guilty. I do. But I I know what she wants and that she doesn't want to be in the nursing home. So for her to not be in the nursing home, someone would have to be at our house with her. I mean, I, I agree with him when I think that she can't be on her own. But not someone not being there with her is just not an option. Do you feel she needs constant uh, someone there at all times to make sure that she's okay? Or do you think that with her health, she's able to take care of herself. She just needs a little help every now. I feel like she needs someone there all the time, except when you know, you know, it's as far as what gets better than all of a sudden turns back to child. It's a lot worse than being with her. And I feel like that's just because she's never had the rehabilitation that the nursing home can offer. And she can go there, get all the treatment and stuff that she needs. Just to help her get better. Sarah, with the time that you spend with her, I hear you. I can tell that you spend more time with her. Do you feel as though she needs around the clock care, or do you think she just needs help with some of the daily tasks? Right now, I think she needs around the clock care. Just because it's hard for her to get up and walk, you know, things like that. But I think when she does get healed from this, I think she's going to be right back to herself. You know, and the doctors have informed us that, you know, as long as she keeps up with her therapy and she goes to rehab and she does what she's supposed to do, that she will be walking again almost back to normal. All right, with fall break starting next week and you have two weeks off, I would like for you to at least bring your mother into the home and stay with you for at least a week. That way you all can see what it's like to have her there. That way you have a week span. And if it doesn't work out, I want you to bring her to the next session. We'll see each other in two weeks. Uh, we'll go out to the front desk and we will deal with that. Okay? okay.